be together with you. Uh, I know you would prefer I speak Swahili, but I'm not in a position that I can do it. But we all have our challenge, and my challenge will be to pick up the Swahili, so it's a matter of time, and I hope I can speak more and more Swahili when we have this uh, meeting. So I'm trying my level best to make Kidoku Kidoku improvement. That's important for me, so that's my challenge. Uh, for today's uh, meeting, first of all, uh, we were supposed to play World Cup qualifiers now, but as you probably all know, CAF, uh, together with FIFA, have postponed the World Cup qualifiers, and what they have informed us is that we are now going to play in the FIFA uh, international window of September, October, November, and then in March 21. We are still waiting for further information. Who are we, who are we playing in, sept in September? Will we play one game? Will we play two games? Will it be the same fixture it was before? That means we are going to start with DR Congo, or are they going to change it? We don't know at the moment. Secondly, if we keep doing the same, then we will continue to get the same outcome. So this I have had discussion with TFF, to say if we continue to do the same, have a short camp, one or very few days of training, then we will, we will get the same outcome. So we have to change something. We all know that more than 95% of the players for, for Taifa Stars, they are coming from the VPL, our national league. I think we also know that there is a gap from the local level to the international level. We can see there is a gap. And to close or to minimize that gap, I think there's only one way we can change. It is that we need to do training with the players. And we need more time to train, not one or two days, but like two or three weeks. And the second part of it, we need to play a number of international friendlies with strong opponent as well. So I'll be very open and also let you know that I have my suggestion as Taifa Stars coach to TFF is that every time we are going to play a World Cup qualifier or AFCON qualifier, I suggest that there is a break in the Watercom Premier League so that the Taifa Stars can have time, like two or three weeks, to prepare and play international friendlies. I know this year it's very difficult because there is a high number of teams, like 18, but I also know next year the number of teams is going to be reduced in the Watercom Premier League. So that is my suggestion because I think, I can put it this way, the will to win is very important, but the most important is the will to be prepared. And like last camp, we have very short time with the key players because they, uh, they have to play CAF uh, qualification games and so on and so on. So maybe we have two or three days of training before we play. I think you have seen before that when I do training with under 17, under 20 and Goro Goro, Serengeti boys, if we have two or, three, two or three weeks, then we can do training, how to attack, how to defend, and then we can develop so we have a stronger team and I can also develop the players. But to do that, need time for training. For this camp, which starts uh, on the 5th on, of June, that will be the first step, phase one. For this camp, we will focus on training and all players will be here for also from abroad because the league is, is off. So it's not like player like uh, Samatsa, he will come two, three days before. 
I already spoke with him, so he will be there from day one, even if it's his holiday. Of course, he will be here together with the other foreign player. So we had at least one week to do our training, and then we will finish this one week on the 13th of June with an international friendly here and there. And I, uh, what it, the plan is that we are playing against Malawi. Malawi is a strong team. They have qualified for AFCON. I think they are around number 150 on the FIFA ranking. Because we need to play, we need to train, and we need to play. This is what I call step one, phase one, the camp in June. And I'm very happy that TFF uh, was saying we will have this camp. Even we know that the World Cup qualifier was postponed. So we have this camp, that's step number one. Step number two will be in August. In August, the Watercom Premier League is off. So I hope we can have the camp around medium August. And then we can prepare for two to three weeks with training, a number of international friendlies. And then we will play the World Cup qualifiers in the beginning of September. The FIFA window is from the 1st to the 7th of uh, September and as I mentioned, at the moment we don't know who we are going to play. Most likely it could be DR Congo again and we don't know if we are going to play one game or two games. But the key point is we get time for preparation. Step 1, the camp now in June. Step 2, a long camp in August. Then I'm very confident that we will see the development we will see the progressing of the players and if the player they improve then also the team will be stronger and stronger. So that is the way uh, forward. The, for this camp there will be 27 players for the squad and I will let you know very soon, uh, the name of it, of the players. There is a mix of experienced player there is a player who are, I would say, future players, young players, and we want to have that, uh, that mix. Of course, there is also foreign player mixed with the uh, local uh, player. So, all in all, it's a good uh, squad. And the intention is that when we go to the next camp in August, we don't want to change each and every one. We need to find the core group the backbone of the team so we have the majority of the player which we believe they have the technical and tactical quality but they also have the mental approach to be proud to be play for Taifa Stars and they want to learn they want to improve These are the, so we take phase one and then we take uh, phase two for this time, the three goalkeeper will be, uh, and I think uh, I will give the list to Endimbo after, so he can uh, give it to you. It will be Aishi Manula and Emnata and Juma Cassetia will be the three goalkeepers. Outfield player will be Sumari Kapomba, Israel Mwenda, Erasto Nioni, Dixon Job, Bakari Nondo Vanietto. Kennedy Juma, Mohammed Hussein, Nixon Kibabashe, Simon M. Suva, Ayub Lianga, and then a new player we put in that's Novatus, Dismas Miroshi, who's playing in Israel. We've been doing a good job there and also played for the under 20. Then we have M. Samiro, Yasin, Faisal Salum, Salum Abu Bakr, Idi Sulaiman Nado, and Buana Samata, John Boko, Abdul Hamis, Mechak Abraham, Edward Maniana, Mudatia, Bryson, and Kulula. And then two strikers which have been watching and want to have a look, a closer look at them. The one is Kibo Dennis Prosper for Mbeya, and the other one is Yusuf Muhilo from Kagera Sugar. And as I said, there's a mix of experienced player, there's a mix of young player, there's a number of players like Metzak, Abdul, who are born like 0102, and we also have Dixon and Nixon, and, uh, and then there are some new players, maybe they're not young, 
what like Kibo Dennis Prosper. I followed him and I think the way he's playing, he shoot he shoot hard, he's good in the and for header, he have some different quality. I want to see him how is he? And Yusuf Muhilo is also a striker who scores some goals for Kagero Sugar, so we want to take a look at them. Other players I can mention, I think uh, recently when I have watched Assam, I've been impressed by the way Mudachi and Bryson have been doing on the central midfield with them. So that's the reason we take them in for a look uh, to see them closer as well. And then, as I mentioned, we have young players like Novatus, who I think his attitude that he, he really wants to, to be there. I want to see him for, for this camp, to see how he's uh, doing. And the good thing is also that before we have selected this camp, our two Elienza, who is the fitness, together with Gabi, who is the analyst, they have, they, they have given me the data of all players to see how many minutes have they played, have they been injured, have they been sick. So we have data from each and every player. Like, I can give you one example, M. Komola, who is playing in Ukraine. But when we see you, M. Komola since last camp, I also had a telephone call with him. He had been sick for quite some time and he have only been playing for the under-20 team 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So we have the data and the data is telling us he is not ready at the moment. So that will be maybe in the future. So we are using the data also to have the exact information about the player as a part of the selection. Yes, questions? Feel free, I'll try to do my best. Any questions? Based on our agenda, Taifa Stars camp, squad, and the friendly. The answer this way, if I was the coach of DR Congo, you can go to the website and you can see the first 30 players from Congo. Where are they playing? Premier League, La Liga, Belgium, France, and so on. They are playing on top, top level. When you put these players together, do you need to do a lot of training with them? You can just be a manager to assemble to say, we put the team up like this. If the players are the, on the top, they, you don't need to have many days. But if our player is, as I mentioned, 95% or more of our player is coming from the Vodacom Premier League. So I think that is the picture that the reason I need to have more time to do training with our players. Last camp, when we had our last camp, one of from the technical bench, he went, Kim, the players are very tired. I asked, I said, why are they so tired? We are not working so hard. He said, no, 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 they are not tired in the legs. They are tired in the head. Because for the first time, some of them, they are getting now information how to do this technical, tactical, mentally. I even spoke with a Twigger Stars coach, Mr. Simon, and he also said, when I have to, when you need to have two to three weeks to prepare the players mentally, technically, technically tactically. That is the reason to make the team stronger. If all our player was playing at the top level, it was a different story. But how many players do we have who really play on the top, top level? Very few. Is that okay? Other question? Always when you select a, a squad, there will always be player that you have to in or out, because I think 20, 27 players is fine. We are three goalkeepers, we are 24 players, so we can do everything we want to do. And of course, it's always hard if you was player number 28 or 29, but that is the part of the football. It's also the day you have to make your team. You think you have 15 good players, but how many can you bring? Only 11. So that is the part of the game. And some of the players who are not selected this time, 
I keep following, watching uh, the VPL either by television or live to see as many games as possible to get an impression. I still have also the IT Instat where I can watch the international player to see their performance.